Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, This Ancestral Owl Messages, and this is going to be the new moon and Taurus read for the collective sign of Cancer. So, Cancerians, it's your turn. Okay, here we go. Before we get into the details of the read, let's pray. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, I just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity. Any messages need to come through for the collective sign of cancer. It is their full moon in Taurus read. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, here we go. Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. And... Be bold and make the first moon move, cardinal moon. All right, so let's use mystical healing. No, don't use this one. Which one do I use? That one. Use that one. Okay, now I'm switching it up for you guys. All right, then. the mystical healing deck and now I'm like drawn to this one. Pull two cards for this one and go back over. Manifestation. Your dreams have untold energy. Open the door and let them live. Okay. Manifestation. Your dreams have untold energy. Open the door and let them live. Desire and belief are your power. Okay, one off the bottom. Faith, believe you are not alone. Spirit is right beside you. Ask for guidance and it will come. All right, now go back to the, all right. Now go back to these, okay. Okay, I don't know what just happened there, but all right. It's a yes. Uh, uh, second read in a row that it's a yes. Okay. I believe Scorpio got this too. Number 17 card, 7 and 1 is 8. New beginnings. Minimize guilt, 22. Angelic number. Awaken your vulnerability. Vulnerability. Number 3 card. Vulnerability. I think I'm saying that right. I feel like it doesn't sound right the way I'm saying it. I don't know. I'm tripping all over my words tonight, I think. One off the bottom. Stop breaking agreements. Number 31. Three and one is four. That's stability of home. What are you breaking an agreement with? Okay. Cancerians, let's pull tarot. Okay. Three of Swords, Justice, Eight of Wands, Queen of Wands, there's Sagittarius, and High Priestess. Okay, I'm to change this up too for this part. Okay. Dragon Tarot for the second. Is this a connection you have with somebody? Going 
that's what I'm told to do here. I am obeying, babe. One more. I can grab hold of this. Okay. Knight of Wands. Chariot. Seven of Swords. The Star. And Judgment. Okay. Cancerians. Ah. The new moon is going to affect you completely differently. Apparently. You have connection with someone and this is how it's it's showing itself. Three of Swords. I feel like this is, is this the other person or this you? Like there's two people here. Three of Swords is heartbreak. And I'm just going to go with what I see. This is almost like a mini twin flame read. Three of Swords is heartbreak and disappointment. And here comes Justice, which is finding balance, Libra energy. Then you have Eight of Wands, news coming in. Queen of Wands, which is Sagittarian energy. And it kicked that out. It really did. Uh, this Queen of Wands energy. This Queen of Wands has awakened vulnerability. Make you feel unprotected. Standing naked on a stage. That's what I just heard. They make you feel like this. Really. Then there's High Priestess, which is, the High Priestess talks about um, spiritual gifts, connection to the divine, connection, well, connection to the great creator, but it's psychic, intuitive, it's making connections, keeping a connection, it's the first number two card in the deck, that's connection to higher source. Connected to your gifts. And then you have... Is this the other person? Knight of Wands. Coming in and saying... Rescuing. The Knight of Wands, like I said in um, Scorpio's Read. I like the Knight of Wands energy because it's fire energy. But it's the knight in the deck that comes in saying just the right things. It's that, um, it's the energy of being in a conversation with someone and an epiphany hits you by something they're talking about and it's completely unrelated to what you're going through. That's that energy. Then you have chariot, fast movement forward. And you got this little sneaky little seven of swords. Now the seven of swords is thief card. I'm just double checking. While one side gets Eight of Wands, which is news coming in, Seven of Swords is thievery. This is deceit. And you have, I'm, the reason there's a pause is because it feels like the energy is like shifting this way and this way and this way. And it's like just woven together because there's the star, which is healing, but it's also recognition. It's being seen like a star in the sky. And then here's judgment. I, I always look at judgment as God's final word in the matter. 
It's like having a message delivered. And that's funny. One side is judgment, which is like messages, incoming messages with the high priestess, which is connecting to the divine and getting incoming messages. Both of you know about each other already, and I don't feel like you've met yet. Like it's a... And you're manifesting one another. Is that why I pulled those cards? Take five off the bottom. Gotcha. King of Swords. Very guarded. Nine of Swords. It's grieving. Knight of Swords. Which is taking divisive action. There's the Nine of Wands. On the defense. And Knight of Pentacles. Just slowest moving card in the deck. Very guarded in their head, obsessively, and just... There's two nines here, though. This is provoking healing in one another. Like, it's, like, pushing each other... Like, pushing each other's buttons, maybe? That's... <laughs> putting each other on the defensive. Like, it's, like, pushing back. Knight of Swords taking action forward... Deciding on something. See, here's the swords. King of swords. Having that wall high. Nine of swords. And they're in your head. Deep grief. Um, sleepless nights. Not knowing what to do. Not understanding what's going on. Knight of swords. Taking, you know, making the decision. This is what I'm going to do decisively. And going for it. Then you have Nine of Wands being put on the defensive. Like you have to, you feel like you have to defend yourself. Knight of Pentacles is a delay. Knight of Pentacles, slowest moving knight in the deck because it's bringing to you more than what you are manifesting. And I think it slowed this down because one side got defensive because they don't understand what's going on. So they made the decision to put up their walls. Okay. <sighs> oh, see, look. This was supposed to go faster than what it has. The reason it got slowed down was because one side was on the defense. Was really on the defensive. Not understanding what was going on. But see, there's an agreement here. The agreement is, there is a contract that the two have. So by one, being very defensive, not understanding what's going on, not listening, they've paused or delayed this contract from playing out. And we have contracts with Every relationship we have in our lives, we have a contract with them. It could be karmic contract, soul contract, familial contract, friends, soulmates, um, lovers, which is a different kind of soulmate. And then you have um, twin flame contract. There is some kind of contract that you have with the relationships in your life. So, one side getting defensive about this, put this on pause. That's what has delayed is this. But I don't think... If I pull the same card for this one... I think it's just like a misunderstanding here. Because you have Knight of Wands. There's that rescuing energy coming in with saying the right... Just the right things. Chariot! Fast movement forward. There's another seven. Seven of Swords. There's two sevens down here, which is creative. This is, um, yeah, creative. This is creation. Healing. But I just... Look, 
Like, five off the bottom. Okay. Ten of cups. Five of swords. Four of pentacles. King of swords. Ace of swords. Yep. <laughs> King of swords on both sides. Walls are high for both. Both sides, the walls are extremely high. Starts out with the Ten of Cups. One side, emotionally satisfied with the connection, fulfilling. This was everything they were looking for. Like, this was fulfilling at the moment. You see what I mean? But it's Ten of Cups isn't just the moment. This is overflowing. Five of Swords. There's a um, Deceit. This isn't even deceit. This is talking. It's like gossip in the background. Like people talking. This is outside energy. Four of Pentacles, which is withholding, not telling everything. That hoarding card. And there's that King of Swords again. Both sides are very guarded. Then you have Ace of Swords, which is truth and clarity. So one side's getting truth and clarity. The other side has delayed this. But both sides are guarded. So both sides, really, that's where Awaken Your Vulnerability comes in at here. Because if the other person is going to make you feel like you're naked on a stage... <laughs> You're already vulnerable. The walls need to come down on both sides. But both sides have walls up. Alright. I'm going to pull two Green Witch Oracle cards. And then I'm going to pull... unusual read. This is the only one out of the new moon reads that is like this. It's just 37 healing geranium. I was looking at the card. That's what 27 duality banana. Um, 27 is 9. Completion. That's End of a cycle, beginning of a new cycle. This duality is about light and shadow. All right. I'm taking a completely different tarot deck because I want to see with the energy of this new moon, what is going to happen with these two. This is Spirit Song Tarot. Let's see what happens. One more shuffle. Ten of Feathers. Queen of Crystals, Six of Wands, and Queen of Cups. So, Ten of Swords, Backstabbing Betrayal, Queen of Crystals, which is Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, There's that Seven of Swords again. The Thief card. Five of Wands. Page of Pentacles. 
20 card, which is Awakening, it's a Hangman, and 5 of Pentacles. Okay. Um. Ah, <sighs> oh, what is going on? Listen. Ten of Swords, which is backstabbing betrayal. Um, how many energies is like here? I'll get back to that in a second because you have Queen of Pentacles. This is finding stability and, and basically nurturing your future, nurturing your money, nurturing your resources. Um, Knight of Shells, which is Knight of Cups, which is love offer coming in. Seven of Swords, Seven of Feathers. There's a Thief again. And Five of Acorns, which is Five of Wands, which is confrontational energy. But it's interesting though, because it lands on the five of acorns, okay? Starts with the six. So it's like it keeps on going. Five of wands, which is confrontational. Six of wands, or six of acorns, which is celebratory. Queen of cups. Love growing. Knight of cups is love offer. Queen of Cups. It's love growing, nurturing. Page of Pentacles, which is learning something new about yourself. Here's the Awakening card, Hangman, with the Five of Pentacles. In this deck for the Five of Pentacles, see that it's a lightning bug. Mug. It doesn't mean being left out in the cold. What it means is to hope and readjustment. That although things look bad now, they'll get better. If this is what's happening with both in union, where it's this duality happening, that could be what's going on. Like one is dealing with one thing, the other one's dealing with something completely different, like the other side of it. And then it goes back and forth. Like six of wands is applause. Queen of Cups is love. And you get Page of Pentacles, which is student. Awakening card. Hangman. Renewal. Enlightenment. But this is seeing things from a different perspective. Then you get this Five of Pentacles, which is being left out in the cold, rejected. <sighs> I, I just... And this Ten of Swords... I, 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 wow. So, I feel like there's an external energy here, like on both sides. But see, that's what happens in Twin Flame Connection. It also happens in Soulmate Connections. It happens when two people are supposed to be together for whatever reason. Everything in the world will be thrown in front of their path to stop them. Like obstacles will just keep coming up. One of the obstacles though is both of these. They're their own obstacles as much as external forces to them. Because what's happening is one isn't trusting this, getting very defensive, thinking they're being invaded, uh, just lied to maybe. The other one they're just guarded. Like, they don't trust what's happening here. But there's love here. Like, love offer coming in. But it's putting them on the defensive. Like, you got Knight of Shells, which is love. Queen, or Knight of Cups, which is love. And then you got Queen of Cups on the other side. Which is love. Okay, I'm going to pull Romance Angels.
Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life. You deserve love. You are lovable. One off the bottom. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. That's... Both sides are like... Very guarded. Look, it's guard. Guards are up. That's why, though. It's right there. Backstabbing and betrayal. Both sides have been treated just as bad as the other. Yeah. Financial stability, nurturing finances, charm, passion... But there's that thief. The thief keeps showing up. Both of them taken advantage of. Both sides have been taken advantage of. Both sides have had to fight their way to get where they are. Had this is very challenging. Argument with self. The other people had to fight themselves to get where they are. To pull themselves out of success and triumph. There's Six of Wands, Queen of Shells, which is peace and compassion. This is Queen of Cups, love. Nurturing, very nurturing individuals. Page of Crystals, which is Page of Pentacles, like I said, student. Both awakened and both feel like they're alone in the world. I have never done a read like this. Last Nights with Virgos, I thought it was strange, but this one's... Yeah, both have been through similar things. So, what's going to happen in the energy of this new moon? Connection going to keep going. Four of Cups. Strength. Nope, two of up there. Okay. Hangman. Awakening. And strength. Oh my god. Strength for both sides. Like you cannot make this shit up. One is not content with where like with the connection right now but there's that strength card. That's one side. The other side is going through an additional awakening and then there's the strength card. I swear. It's a two off the top. No lie. Just, I can't make this shit up if you tried. So during the energy of this new moon, one is going through this additional awakening. <laughs> when the other one is just, it's almost like they're not happy because it's not going fast enough, maybe? One more. Negativity. Let's see. Look at Scorpio's read. What beats this card is a strength card. Negativity, there's that devil energy in the Seven of Wands, which is clear in the decks. But the Strength card will beat that negativity. Knight of Pentacles. There's the Lovers. So. <laughs> so. Slow moving, one side is weak into this. See what comes out with the other side, the moon. Hangman. Additional awakening for the other side too. My god. Five of cups, six of wands with the other side. I just... Wow. So, for the collective sign of cancer, whoever this is for, if you have cancer anywhere in your chart, whoever this is for, this is the strangest reading. This is the most awesome reading I've ever done. Like, it, this is absolutely beautiful. Listen to me. In the energy of this new moon, if this connection, there's going to be an additional awakening on, on both sides. Because, you guys, I think the two are pulling one another 
um, higher and on the same vibration. One's pulling the other, the other one's pulling the other. Like it's causing both sides to vibrate higher and it's just keep going like that. All right, for the collective sign of cancer, this is your new moon, Taurus Reef.